Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I want to show you guys how to make a very sturdy, simple, and custom fit bench. I'm actually going to be using this at the dinner table. I've never had benches that fit perfectly underneath our table, but I have always wanted them. So I decided to look on Pinterest. This inspired me to come up with my own design. So I got the board at Home Depot. It was a 12 inch by 2 inch by 16 foot long, and I could barely even move the thing. I barely got it into like the cart trolley thingy. And then I brought it over to the guy who was cutting wood and I just had it pre-measured to four feet long the top bench part and 18 inches for the two boards that are gonna go underneath the bench because it was 16 feet long I was able to get enough cuts to make two benches and even still have a little bit left over. The first thing that I did was take a little bit of wood filler and just fill all of the holes and smooth it out. This helps to make it so the whole thing is nice and smooth and it's gonna look really nice when we're done. I just use my finger to smooth over all of the surfaces, really push it deep down into all of the cracks. While it's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it. So I've just measured in five inches from the end of the board and I went ahead and marked it on both sides. I put the board that I want on that spot this will be one of the legs of the bench, and I just marked along both sides. I just used a screw to mark along the wood, and now I'm just gonna make four drill holes with a drill bit that's smaller than my screws, and we're gonna put this thing together. And I'm gonna do that on both sides of the bench, and right now I think I wanna mark my other one by putting this one with the holes on it on top of this one. Cool! All right, I'm just using our other chairs to set it on there, and I, Marked it a little bit just right in the middle where the screws are supposed to go on the side so that I can line it up perfectly. And now we can drill our holes and screw them in. Okay, now I have these L brackets and I'm gonna take these and place them on the inside like that and that just to make sure that this bench is really sturdy and I have a shorter screw for these. And if you're concerned with splitting the wood, make sure to drill some pilot holes beforehand. Ooh, that's already way sturdy, I can tell. And I'm just doing two L brackets on each leg. If you want it to be more stable, you can put two L brackets on each side of each leg. Okay, it's done. I just put on the brackets and this thing is like, it's not wobbly at all. I'm trying to make it wobble and it's, it's so sturdy. I love it. Now it's time to sand it. I've got some edges that are kind of sharp on here, so I want to make sure that they're all smooth and nice. I just got it all sanded. It feels as smooth as a baby's bottom. <laughs> no, but seriously, it does. And it's ready to be painted and actually I'm gonna use, this is a stain and, and polyurethane in one step. And so I'm gonna use this, it's called Poly Shades. I am just following the instructions on the outside of the can. It says to do one very thin coat, let it dry for six hours, leave it alone, and then come back, rub it with a very, very fine steel wool, paint a second coat on top of that. If you want it to be even darker, you can add a third coat. Okay, I stayed up last night, I put on a second coat on the bench that I did yesterday, and it's still a tiny, tiny bit sticky to the touch. So I'm gonna let it dry for longer, but it's done. It's finished. And then I also, on my second bench over here, I have one layer of the polyurethane stuff. I still need to put on a second layer. I also made sure to cut off a little bit of the bottom. I didn't account for the extra inch and a half, so this bench is a little bit extra tall. I left it that way though because I actually want to secure it to the wall and have this be the kids bench because it's a little bit higher up and it will fit them a little bit better. I cut off an inch and a half from this bench right here so it can be on the other side of the table and accommodate the adults a little bit better. Other than that, it's finished and all that needs to happen now is if I want to make it a little bit darker, put on another coat or just let it dry until it's not sticky anymore and then we're completely finished. I'm so excited for this to be all the way dry. I can't wait to start using it in our kitchen and having our kids make memories on it and make it covered in spaghetti. Probably that too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I've got new videos coming every Tuesday and Saturday. And guess what? I am going to Universal Studios next week dressed as Luna Lovegood. And that is the costume that is coming next. Click over here if you want to see another project. Click over here if you want to watch me every day on the beach house. See you guys next time.